So I've made it pretty clear that I'm a pretty big fan of the Witcher series initially. When the first season came out, I actually enjoyed it a lot. Even though it was a little bit away from the source material, it wasn't that far off to the point where it was uh, suspending my disbelief, sort of say. Um, especially since Henry Cavill was a fantastic Witcher. He was a fantastic Geralt of Rivia. He was just embodying the entire persona of that character, Geralt of Rivia. And unfortunately, with Henry Cavill's departure, that's going to take people like myself completely out of the show where I don't really think I'm going to be too into the show anymore, especially after the terrible season two. I was not a fan of season two. They did so many radical changes in season two. They got me completely uninterested. Even with Henry Cavill being at the helm, I was starting to check myself out little by little until eventually I just kind of sort of gave up on it. And I was going to give season three a chance only because it is Henry Cavill and I just wanted to watch the first couple episodes to see if they're going down the same route but unfortunately with Henry Cavill's departure it looks like I'm just going to be out. So with that being said Netflix is the Witcher showrunner Lauren Hisrich has just recently attempted to inspire confidence in the series following Henry Cavill's exit and is basically begging fans to give it a chance in season three even without Henry Cavill. Now to my knowledge I thought Henry Cavill was going to be in season three. I thought it was going to be season four and beyond that he wasn't going to be in but I could be wrong so let's get into the article, guys. This one from Bounding Into Comics. It says, Netflix is the Witcher. Showrunner Lauren Hisrich attempts to inspire confidence in the series following Henry Cavill's exit. In the wake of former series star Henry Cavill's exit from the Netflix series and his replacement by the Hunger Games star Liam Hemsworth, the Witcher showrunner Lauren Hisrich has set out to try and assure audiences that the continued adventures of Geralt are indeed worth tuning in for. At first, though observed by Eurogamer's Victoria Kennedy during her various interviews throughout the recent December 3rd UK press day for the upcoming prequel series The Witcher Blood Origin, Hisrich did her best to convince those in attendance that The Witcher's loss of Cavill was nothing to worry about. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I'm sorry. I do not believe that losing this man as Geralt of Rivia is going to be a small thing. I just don't believe it. When he plays a character, look how many people wanted him to come back as Superman. You think people wanted him to come back as Superman because he's cute? Like, I mean, come on. Like, people wanted him to come back as Superman because he embodied Superman. He knew exactly what the hell he was doing. And when he played Superman, it was a great portrayal of Superman as a whole. So I don't really think that they're going to want to get rid of him uh, from the fans because, honestly, he knows how to keep the fans happy. It's just the truth. So it says, speaking with IGN, the showrunner asserted that in the aftermath of Cavill's exit, what I'm excited about is allowing this franchise to continue growing and that we get new energy and chemistry that we haven't discovered yet. And to me, that's part of the fun of television. You don't know where exactly the adventure is going to end, she baffingly added. Given that the ending of Geralt's specific adventure was already laid out in Edred Sapowski's original novels, so it's something I'm really excited about. You know, I will say that change is also energy, she similarly explained to Decider. Change also brings about different energy, so to us, that's just part of the continuing to roll forward in this franchise. Now, the fact that she's talking about change so much, you know she's not just talking about Geralt. I just want to make that very clear. She's not just talking about Henry Cavill as Geralt. She's going to plan on changing the series more and more after season two. If you think season two was a far cry from the source material, just wait until she comes out with what she's coming out with. I guarantee you it's going to be terrible. It says, providing Collider with a similarly brief answer when asked about the series' upcoming shooting schedule, Hisrich told the outlet, honestly, I'm really excited for Witcher season four. I think it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to get started, said the showrunner. We're not there, so right now I just really want to keep the focus on Blood Origin and all this amazing work. Asked by Tech Radar for her thoughts on the backlash to Cavill's departure, much of which based on the fan belief that the series' mistreatment of the source material drove the actor away, Hisrich claimed it's a big deal for us too. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. People like this love to see people like Henry Cavill leave the show because they know people like Henry Cavill care a hell of a lot more about the story than they personally do. And it's just the truth. They don't care about the story nowhere near as much as Henry Cavill does because Henry Cavill will put in the time, he will put in the work to learn the source material, to understand it. The guy started playing the video games and after he fell in love with the games, he went crazy with the books and then that was it. He just fell in love with the story, decided to read every little thing about it so that he can understand better about it. But honestly, it, it, I don't think, I, don't, I just don't believe her. I don't believe her. I know you guys don't believe her either. And it says, and that's the thing, there's a lot of talk and rumors about, and we fully understand why fans are going there, she continued. What I will say to fans is please come back for The Witcher Season 3 so that we can continue to do this, implored Hisrich. Obviously, Cavill's exit is huge news, but what I don't want to do is this has to stay about Blood Origin and Declan Debara, the cast and the crew. This is their time in the spotlight. 
Later that same day, in response to her sharing of the premiere trailer for Blood Origin to her personal Instagram account, Hissrich would face further criticism over her handling of the show. In turn, Hissrich would seemingly attempt to extend olive branches to a number of her critics, all the while attempting to court some level of optimism among them towards the upcoming post cavil era of The Witcher. You know, I get that you may be a fan and everything, but that doesn't justify the fact that you have turned this show into something way different and worse, according to most people, from what we all liked from the books, wrote user Gwyn Blath. I totally hear if you didn't like it, replied the showrunner. There are a lot of people who did, though literally millions and millions of them. Well, the thing is, those millions and millions of people who liked the show, most of them probably liked it because Henry Cavill was so good as Geralt of Rivia. And that's just the truth of it. So the fact that you're losing your major star, that's going to be very difficult for you to come back from. I would almost guarantee it's going to hurt your show a lot more than she's portraying. And I know she's got to come out as, to, you know, to be like good, good, uh, good faith. And she has to have faith in the entire show and everything like that. And she has to put off like she's not nervous about Henry Cavill leaving. But it's going to be a big blow. I promise you it's going to be a huge blow. Are they lesser fans, she then asked, or do they just like different things? Or maybe there's room for many different versions of these stories. I hope so, but I understand if you're disappointed, wishing you the best. And whenever they say something like that, there's room for many different versions of these stories, that's just them justifying the fact that they changed so much crap within the, the source material. Is it true that you see yourselves above the source material, inquired uh, this person, I can't read their name. <laughs> to be honest, this show had a much bigger, higher potential. It could have been the next Lord of the Ring killer, but you and your directive team just made it into a generic fantasy show. Huh? Said a confused Hissridge above the source material? Never. Extending the show run of the same courtesy she was showing fans, I'm not attacking you at all, but I want to know exactly what caused Henry to leave as he initially said he would be on board for seven seasons. We all have much to discuss when season three press rolls around, explained Hissridge, sidestepping the questions for now. I want to keep things focused on blood origin because people work their asses off to bring this to life. They deserve some time in the spotlight. So, frankly put, she's not going to answer the question, okay? I don't think anybody's going to answer the question. I, I would guarantee that Henry Cavill probably is not going to answer the question either because he probably can. It's most likely in some form of contract or whatever that he can't actually uh, give out details as to his leaving unless approved by the uh, studios themselves. So, I really don't think you're going to get an answer on that question. I know a lot of people want an answer on that question, but you really shouldn't look forward to it because I just think it's not going to happen. So, with that being said, guys, I don't really have much faith for The Witcher Season 3. I, I know I'm probably going to end up watching the first couple of episodes anyway to review it. But honestly, as a fan, I'm pretty much tapped out. And uh, I'd rather just go back to playing the games and reading the books personally. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of today's story. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.